Good afternoon, I'm Caitlin Alexander. And I'm Mason Bergen. Welcome to Channel 9 News. The Lady Bruins volleyball team capped a streak of 61 consecutive victories by winning the TSSAA state championship. Siegel High School dealt the team their only loss in the first contest of the season, after which the Lady Bruins went undefeated through the regular season and postseason play. Farragut emerged from the loser's bracket to give the Lady Bruins a thrilling match, taking the first two games 25-21 and 25-22, after which coach Barbara Campbell's team roared back to take the final three games 25-20, 25-21, and 15-9 in the finals. Katie Kemp was named the state tournament MVP. The win was a Tennessee state record 10th for the Lady Bruins volleyball team, all under the legendary coach Barbara Campbell. Broward High School is also breaking records in the classroom posting a new school record high for average ACT score. Information released in the August 20th College Readiness Letter shows BHS students with an average score on their latest test of 25.9, a full half point higher than last year's score of 25.4, and 6.1 points above the state average of 19.8. Brentwood High scored the highest of all Williamson County high schools. Tennessee citizens are fired up over the most recent local election, and one particular amendment has people choosing sides. Our very own Chandler Butler has more. The Tennessee election took place on November 4th. There are many issues being discussed, but Amendment 1 was the most controversial topic. We talked to some parents who expressed their opinion on the situation. I'm out here today promoting vote no on Amendment 1 to stop government interference in private um, decisions that should be made between a woman and her family and her physician and her faith. With a close vote, Amendment 1 passed with a margin of 6%. So far, the ruling has allowed the passage of new restrictions on abortion. For example, waiting periods, government scripted counseling, and stronger regulations on facilities. Those who oppose the amendment say that this is a privacy issue. No on Amendment number 1, and that is the one that wants to regulate abortion clinics, but we feel it's got some hidden issues in it and so therefore we're voting no. We think that if you vote yes that it opens up an opportunity for the government to come in and do different things to Roe versus Wade and other things that have to do with a woman's choice. Whether Amendment 1 is about privacy, safety, or women's ability to access a safe legal abortion, the choice now rests with you. I'm Chandler Butler, WBHS 9 News. Coming up next, Bruin has a new football coach, and it's someone you might recognize. Tanner Tapp has more after the break. There are two sides to drugs. On one side, drugs can increase your chance for heart disease. Drugs can cause cancer in virtually every part of your body. And drugs damage your overall health. On the other side, well, there is no other side. Don't throw away your life for temporary fun. Live healthy for permanent happiness. Thanks guys, welcome to the 50 yard line with Tanner Tap. Berwin had a rough year in terms of football finishing the season 2-8 and eight under the second year of head coach Mike Woodward. The Brentwood program, in search of the winning tradition, parted ways with Woodward following this past season. With that, Brentwood football hands the reins over to a new man, but a familiar face. Ron Crawford coached the Bruins from 2002 to 2011 before heading to Cleveland, Tennessee. Crawford returns with the new hope to a program that struggled over the past couple years, but knows that they're not far from the winning tradition once again. Now we're going to send it over to Chandler Butler, who's got some interesting baseball news for us. In celebration of Halloween, the Bruins baseball team dressed up for their scrimmage on Thursday. Their enthusiasm for the start of the season is reflected in their costumes. The dress of Daisy Duke for the game today is Halloween tomorrow. We plan on having a good year today. I'm Ash Ketchum. We're excited for our uh, Halloween scrimmage today. And I'm PJ Scalise and I'm Superman. I'm Wayne Harris and I'm a ref. 
Go Bruins. This is the first time the boys have been able to practice on the field before the season officially starts. Coach Moore elaborates on this change in the rules and his inspiration and reason behind the Halloween themed practice. Yeah, the rules have changed where we can actually do stuff on the field in the fall. And uh, I know a couple friends of mine in college that kind of do this with their guys in college. And so um, we thought we'd try it out. This is our first time to do it. So, and they're pretty into it. <laughs> as you can tell by the costumes. But it's just something funny. Just another team building exercise that we're trying to do. And um, Rules permit, don't allow us to be out there, but they can be out there and organize it themselves. So they're having a blast doing that. So we'll see, maybe we'll do it again next year. What a great way for the Bruins to start their season. I'm Chandler Butler, WBHS 9 News. Thanks Chandler. Welcome to Center Court. I'm here with TSSAA Coach of the Year, Barbara Campbell, to talk about their incredible 2014 season. Coach Campbell, what was it that got your team to where they were? Well, I would say teamwork, leadership from my seniors, and just an intense desire to repeat from last year and to continue the Lady Bruin tradition. And um, can you talk about the Farragut game, the final match, uh, overcoming the 0-2 deficit? Yeah, that was a really exciting match. Down two, I knew if we won the third one, we could come back. We would come back. And I tell you, I wish every one of you could have been in the timeouts because if you would have been there, you would have believed. And they, they just believed that they could. They believed they would. And it was like it was do or die. And they would not give up. And once again, it was that intense desire, um, you know, and teamwork. That was a great game. But uh, everyone's wondering, what does the future of Barbara Campbell look like? <laughs> we wish we knew. Um, how about if we say one day at a time? Right now I'm planning for 216 and um, for a three P and um, one day at a time. And the future always looks bright for Barbara Campbell. <laughs> well, we appreciate you being here, Coach. Thank you. Finally, to wrap it up here at midcourt, an awesome, as awesome as it was to see Coach Campbell to win state female coach of the year, our very own Dennis King has won the male coach of the year for the entire state. His boys basketball team is definitely looking to make another run at the state tournament this year. So all around, Brentwood doing a pretty solid job in athletics. Thanks, Tanner. Channel 9's very own Ronnie Adcock was recently named the Brentwood High School Teacher of the Year for the 2014-2015 school year. Mr. Adcock has been teaching high school broadcasting for just over six years and has made a major impact on the program. We wouldn't be here without him. With school coming to a close for the year, we've got some interesting weather changes over break. We're going to send it over to Caleb Howard for a special weather report. Welcome to Brentwood High Weather. I'm Caleb Howard. Let's take a look at the five-day forecast. We're going to be finishing off the week with virtually no rain, sunny days, but it's going to take a turn on Sunday with temperatures rising above freezing, a little bit of rain around 50% on Sunday, moving up to a lot more around 90% on Monday, and then kind of backing off on Tuesday back to about 50%. Now let's take a look at Williamson County's new snow plan. As we move further into winter, temperatures are steadily decreasing and weather is becoming more inclement. Therefore, Williamson County has asked teachers to implement a unique snow plan for their classes so that students may catch up on work that may have been lost to snow days. With that in mind, please bundle up, be safe as the temperatures drop below freezing. Back to you guys. Thanks, Caleb. Young Life has always been a solid program at Brentwood High School, but there's a side to Young Life that not many get to see. Emma Richards has more. Driving past Brentwood Baptist on a Thursday night, you may notice the small amounts of cars in the parking lot. Although there are few in the building, one of its most influential clubs is taking place in room 2102. Over 60 kids, ranging in age from 14 to 22, Come to Burwood Baptist every month to participate in the fun and welcoming atmosphere of Capernaum. Capernaum is a program for people with um, special needs and people with special needs get, to get together and 
um, it's like a Christian club, basically. We learn about God, we play games, we sing Christian, we sing music, um, we sing music that we know from the radio and everything. And just be ourselves. Over 60 kids from ages 14 to 22 come every month to enjoy the fun and welcoming atmosphere of Capernaum. Ben Summers, a senior at Brentwood High, loves the fun he has at Capernaum. Um, what's your favorite thing about Capernaum? This year, it's the um, singing, the playing games, and the iPad, the hot food, and the dessert, and all the stuff. Man, I love it. It makes me have a, a blast. <laughs> High school kids and volunteers from schools all over Williamson County participate in Capernaum. Through the fun games, skits, and songs incorporated into Capernaum Club, kids with disabilities are encouraged to develop fulfilling friendships and challenge their limits. Our crew joined in on the fun of Capernaum, allowing the kids to check out our equipment and even participating in some of the games and dance parties. website at wilcocapernaum.younglife.org. Emma Richards, WVHS 9 News. Thanks, Emma. That's all for today. I'm Caitlin Alexander. And I'm Mason Bergen. We'll see you next time on Channel 9 News.